Okay, this video is going to be on how to pick a surf rod for pompano fishing. The first thing you want to learn about picking a surf rod is what type of action does it have? Well, a fast action rod just means that that surf rod is made of a stiffer material. So it's going to bend less than a slow action. So what's that do for me? Well, most of your 12 foot rods 13 foot surf rods are probably going to be listed as a fast, maybe a fast slash moderate. But with a faster action rod, you're going to be able to hurl a heavier sinker. You probably wouldn't be able to hurl a six ounce sinker with a slow action rod, but you're going to be able to do it easily with a fast action. You know, what are the disadvantages of a fast action rod? Well, a fast action rod is stiffer, so when you're going to fight that fish, you're going to be using your arms more than the rod is going to be helping you. You're going to, you're going to have a good fight on your hands. And if that's what you want, well, a fast rod is a, is, a, is a good choice. A slow action rod or a moderate action rod is going to bend farther down here. You know, the, instead of a fast action rod only bending at the top third, well, a, a moderate action rod might uh, be bending more at the top two thirds, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to bring in those bigger fish. So, you know, maybe a moderate or a slow action rod would be a better choice for uh, a kid fishing on the beach or someone who isn't as strong. So, there you have it. There is uh, there's the action types of rods out there, and keep in mind. They, they may say that they're fast or fast slash moderate. You know, they may come up with their own hybrid choice of what type of rod it is. Uh, let's, uh, let's go and talk a little bit now about guides. You know, they're the most popular guides out there on store-bought rods are probably Fuji's. And, you know, there's different... There's different grades of guides. Now, if you're just a beginner, you know, the, uh, the, the basic guides uh, that come on a rod might just be uh, listed as aluminum oxide. And if you're just starting out, well, that, that's fine. If you're going to be using your surf rods a lot and you plan on doing it quite a bit, well, you may want to kick it up a notch. So here, here are the different grades here. This one on the left is, it's a, uh, it's a stainless steel and you've got your uh, standard aluminum oxide, which is, all that is, is a ceramic material. And if you want to uh, get a little bit better grade of a guide, you could, uh, you could go with a stainless steel and an alkanite uh, which is just a, a harder grade of aluminum oxide. And you can also spend quite a bit of money and you can get uh, silicon carbide, or sometimes referred to as SIC. And you can also spend more money in getting uh, titanium frames. But, you know, there's, there's something to be said for the stainless steel because it is a softer metal. And if you're, you're rough with your surf rods, well, you know, that expensive titanium uh, might break a little easier if you're knocking that around, throwing it in your, your truck or wherever you're storing it in the garage. So, you know, keep that in mind. Sometimes more expensive isn't better. And then there's a new one out that, uh, uh, I don't know how new it is, but it's their, their Torzite, Fuji Torzite, which is, uh, you know, just their best version lightest, lowest friction, uh, you know, best heat dissipation uh, for uh, a ceramic insert for a guy. Um, I didn't really cover the heat dissipation, but if let's say you're using uh, braided line, well, that might be a little bit better choice to go with a silicon carbide or really heavy gear. You're going to get a lot less friction. You know, if you're building your own surf rods, you can make them all torsoites, or you could have a hybrid version. You may find that it's too expensive to go with all torsoites, so you might go with, uh, you know, alkanites for all of the guides except for the tip, and then go with a torsite, something that's going to dissipate the heat the best. And, you know, that tip guide is 
going to take the biggest beating of all. So that's uh, that's enough about guides. Let's let's talk about what surf rods are out there for the beginners. I'm not going to cover custom rods because that's going to be way down the road in your surf fishing career, and they're going to cost quite a bit. But let's let's just over here and uh, see what we've got uh, at the low end of the spectrum. At uh, Bass Pro Shop, they've got these offshore angler breakwater surf spinning rods. And they range 49 to 79, depending on the length you're getting. And for a beginner, uh, you know, I've gone in the store and I've uh, grabbed one of these. Now, you're probably going to get one for a spinning rod. You don't want to go, if you're a beginner, you're probably going to start with a spinning reel. So you don't want to get one for a conventional reel. And the ones I found in the store for the spinners are a little bit uh, more of a fast action, a stiffer rod. And if we go down here and we go to 12 foot, which we see as their max, you can see that uh, they've got a moderate fast action. This heavy part over here is just talking about the durability of the rod itself. But it's a moderate fast action and it says, okay, you can use four to eight ounce sinkers, no problem. And if you go a little farther down, it talks about the, uh, the guides. And uh, there we go. There's the Fuji aluminum oxides. That's their, their basic guide. And, uh, this, this rod is just perfectly acceptable for the beginner. Now, you may find other surf rods in other stores, different brands. But I just chose to look at Bass Pro Shop because most people have one uh, available to them or they can order online. So... Uh, so nothing wrong with that. A 12 foot beginner's surf rod for $79.97. And if you want to uh, step it up a notch, uh, you could go to a Tsunami and uh, these rods uh, start at 109 to 164 And I, I was reading some of the reviews on these and uh, it, it doesn't look too good. These Tsunamis uh, they give them a uh, they give them an extra heavy on the uh, on the action. But what I'm finding is is if you read some of the reviews, a lot of people are having the the tips break. So I don't know. I think we should probably stay away from the this particular version of a tsunami, which is affordable, the airwave. I think we may want to just skip over that one. Let's go back to Bass Pro and see what they've got in a little bit more expensive surf rod. We can, uh, we can look at their offshore angler uh, power stick uh, surf spinning rod. And if we go down to the 12 footers, we can see that uh, it's, a, it's a fast action and it's gonna allow you the four to eight ounces. And if we go to the descriptions, uh, we can see that uh, we've got the uh, aluminum oxide guides and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit better in respect to um, the, uh, the graphite is uh, probably a little bit better in the blank. But there again, this is just a, this is just a beginner rod. So uh, it's just going to have a few more features on it uh, as far as the, uh, maybe the quality of the graphite blank being better. And it gets really good reviews, uh, better reviews than that uh, Breakwater series we looked at. So uh, Bass Pro also carries a pen line of surf rods. And this one here is called the Carnage 2 uh, Surf Spinning Rod. Uh, pen also offers combos too, but what I don't like about their combos is, is they give you a reel that you may not want. I prefer the... Uh, Pen uh, long cast series, and I haven't seen them paired up with these uh, pen surf rods yet. So uh, I feel you're better off buying them individually, even though you might spend a few more dollars. So, but if we go down here, we we can we can get that in a 12 foot as well, and that's a moderate fast, meaning you know it's a uh, it's going to hold better uh, bottom with a let's say a, a five ounce sinker versus a six. So. You know, that's, that's a nice feature to have, a moderate fast. That's a, that's a good choice. And if we go down here, we can see that there's a few options on here. 
that the other ones didn't have. We, we get a little bit of an upgrade here on the Fuji guides, their alkanite inserts, and the um, it's got a Fuji graphite real seat, which is you know a more uh, durable product than what you're going to have on some of those other rods we looked at. So, um, you know that's that's what you're looking at when you uh, when you buy these surf rods. Uh, you know, don't don't start out with a custom rod because you really you you may not be sure of what you want as far as uh, moderate, fast, fast, etc. And I hope this helps you pick a surf rod that's going to help you catch a lot of Pompano in the future. If you like this video, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel. And that's it for this video.